Hi, I'm Donnie Coughlin, I'm a mechanic here at ASC, and today safety video is going to be about eye protection. Here at ASC, one of the most common injuries is an eye injury. Reason being, dust and particles that builds up on the brim of your hard hat and your face shield falls down into your eyes. So today I'm going to give you guys a couple helpful tips to help prevent that. Let's get into it. Step one, you tilt your head forward, pull it away from your helmet. Step two, take your hand and wipe off the brim of your hard hat to ensure that no dust can fall in your eye. Step three, take your face shield and tap it on the table of your work area to dislodge any dust that may have built up inside of your face shield. Step four, take your finger and wipe it on the inside of your face shield to remove any extra dust that may have been in there that didn't come out when you tapped it on the table. So let's recap. It's super important that you keep your head tilted down when you remove your face shield. Don't lift your head up before doing that because then dust can fall down into your eyes and cause those injuries. Lastly, the most important thing is that these steps are followed every single time once you get done grinding. So this may seem like an extra lengthy process, but I assure you if you follow these steps, it will help prevent eye injuries going forward. Some of you guys may think that this is unnecessary, but here are some testimonial videos of some people who it's affected. I'm Joseph Acra, and I'm a mechanical fabricator. I'm Javier Arias. I'm a production lead. My name is Devin Cook, and I am a mechanical fabricator here. Well, this is my previous job. Um, I was insulating a clave on the scaffolding. I was uh, bent over grinding and sparks were flying upwards. There was some kind of circulation because the grinder naturally will shoot out air through the, through the grinder, you know? The sparks and the metal debris kind of got shooken up in my helmet and it got in between my glasses. I went to grab pins to pin the insulation in. A chunk of the insulation fell and got in and then got my glasses right here and me like trying to take it off, it got in my eye. It sucks. When you have something, when you know that you actually do have something on there, it, it's horrible. It's like a needle, sharp pain, and I just kind of panicked. And then it was just really irritating, just almost like sandpaper. So I went to the restroom, saw if there's anything in there. So you start at having to rub your eye a lot, and then, you know, it, sometimes it becomes mental. And I opened up an eye wash, container and tried to flush it out, you know, not the best idea, but I was like, uh, I'll go tell safety. Yeah, I talked to Daniel, the safety rep, and he takes me to uh, get my eye like flushed at the eye wash station. The eye wash station, after I did it, it felt better, but it was still irritated and really itchy. Well, I've heard stories of people that just, you know, they think nothing's wrong and then the metal debris gets stuck in their eye and uh, it ends up getting infected. Like I know as a fabricator, my experience as a fabricator, we're accustomed and cultured to a different state of mind and you know, large diversity here, you know, it's kind of hard to implement it, you know, from a mechanical standpoint. But I recommend follow company procedure for sure. One of the things, follow, wear your PPEs, notify safety, you know, memorize it, you know. Sometimes we feel like, oh, it's just a small scratch, you know, nothing will happen and then something happens like it gets infected and ends up being a much bigger problem so it's great to just report it instantly and they help you take care of it safely. Okay. 